Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you the fastest and easiest way to download mods in Zalith Launcher. Let's get right into it. To download mods, just click the download icon in the top right corner. From here, you can grab mods, mod packs, resource packs, worlds, and even shader packs, all in one place. Now let's try downloading some mods. I'm going to grab sodium, iris, and a couple of shaders to test things out. Up here in the search bar, you can look for any mod you want. You can also install mods from local storage and switch the search platform between CurseForge and Modrinth. When you click on a mod, it'll automatically detect your Minecraft version and mod loader. If it's compatible, they'll be highlighted in green. If not, that means the mod doesn't support your version or mod loader. Next, select the latest version of the mod, then click Return to go back. Important note, if this pop-up appears while downloading a mod, it means you need to download its dependencies first for it to work properly. Once you've downloaded all your mods, head to the game file settings by clicking the gear icon in the bottom right corner. Here, you'll see all your downloaded content, mods, resource packs, worlds and shaders, organized in their respective sections. If a mod causes your game to crash or not launch, you can easily disable or enable mods from this menu. All right, now let's test the mods. I've already downloaded a few, so let's fire up the game and see if they work. As you can see, I've got a few mods installed. Let's test them out and see if they'll work. If you want to try out my mod pack, drop a comment below. If enough people are interested, I'll make a tutorial on how to download and use it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss it. Now let's create a world to test if sodium and iris shaders are working properly. Time to see those visuals in action. As you can see, sodium and iris are working perfectly with shaders. Everything's running smoothly. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you set up Zalith Launcher and get your mods running smoothly. If you found this useful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and drop a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.